Hello, viewers. I welcome you to today's Open Heavens Reflections, uh, based on the Open Heavens devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. My name is Akimola Shoroe, and by the grace of God, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Center, based in Southeast London, an area called Plumstead. Our reflections for today is, um, is called Worthy Service, and our Bible passage is taken from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verses 22 and 23. So Samuel said, As the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he also has rejected you from being king. My prayer for you is that the Lord will not reject you in the name of Jesus. Our memory verse is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Our reflections for today. Yesterday we discussed worthy worship and today we're discussing worthy service. Again, what is emphasized is our attitude and motivation. What is making us do what we are doing? Why are we doing what we are doing for God? The Bible tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. Therefore, service or good works in an area that God has not called you to is pointless as long as you are ignoring what God has actually called you to do. Can you just imagine for a moment if Jonah, Jonah was asked uh, to go and preach to the people of Nineveh and he went and fed the poor in another city? Of course, the people in that city would think that Jonah was an admirable servant of God because, after all, isn't feeding the poor a righteous thing to do? But they would not be aware that, however admirable Jonah's actions seemed, he would be walking in disobedience and his service would not have been pleasing to God. Once he had preached to the people God asked him to, to, to preach, then God would be very happy for him to do any other extra work. Now let me ask you a question. Are you throwing yourself into an area of service so that you can run away from what God is actually asking you to do? Let me counsel you. It is better for you to get back on track before you continue. Now you may ask, how do I know what God wants me to do? Well, our memory verse of today tells us that reasonable service to God involves giving our bodies as a living sacrifice to Him, which means that we no longer have any desire of our own, but rather God's desires become our desires. The verse that follows today's memory verse tells us, do not copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. You will get to know how to prioritize God's desires over your own by being transformed through His Word. Serving God in one area while disobeying another area renders our services unacceptable to God. An acceptable sacrifice must therefore also be holy, meaning that there should be no disobedience found in us. If you are walking in sin, or you think that you're making up for it by serving God in a particular area, you are mistaken, because God can only accept a holy sacrifice. Our prayer point for today is, Father, please help me to identify and take care of a need in your kingdom in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you so much for watching again today. Uh, our prayer is that God will keep on sparing your life to keep on being blessed by this telecast. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day. God bless. Bye.